the absence of Final Fantasy XIV Oceanic servers for close to 8 years has caused unexpected friendships to bloom, an agonizing friction between the Japanese and English communities, specifically in the Elemental Data Center. Hi, I'm Kibbles. Now that official Oceanic servers are coming in the new expansion, what do the Japanese think about it? Are they happy? Are they sad? Are they overjoyed? Let's find out. Now, most of you might not have any idea what I'm talking about, but it's okay. We have to go way, way back in time for this to make sense. Back in 2.0, word got around that Tonberry had a large English community, and it soon became the unofficial Oceanic server in the Elemental DC. Players from Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and other Southeast Asian countries flocked to Tonberry, and I was one of them. Back then in 2013, Tonberry had roughly 44% English players and about 56% of Japanese players. Now, eight years later, the proportion of English players on Tonberry server has risen to 65%. Japanese players, however, dropped to 25%. That is a crazy huge change in eight years. The English players had found a new home, but a large proportion of Japanese players were forced out. As to why they left, well, it can all be boiled down to cultural differences, behavior, manners, communication. I mean, Japanese people, they can't or don't speak English. And so you can imagine if it's in Party Finder uh, for Titan Extreme, for example, then they're discussing like rate strategies and in comes an English player who doesn't know how to speak Japanese, sits there silently and is not able to participate in any meaningful way to the rate discussion. If there are wipes, um, there's just no feedback, there's no communication between the English player and the Japanese player. And there's also that one major gameplay difference between you know, English-speaking people and Japanese people. Um, for us, English players, we want to do things fast, like in dungeons. Our priority is fast, and so you know, um, healers are DPSing, everyone is DPSing, everyone wants the dungeon to go fast. Whereas for Japanese players, it's more like they want to do things right. And so they can pull slowly, do things, you know, at their own pace. The problems that I mentioned is not only isolated to Toneberry, because you see, Toneberry server is part of the elemental data center and so all the servers connected to Toneberry are also experiencing these problems. So Japanese players when they go to duty finder they want to queue for a dungeon they click on J right but a lot of English players they click on E and they click on J as well because the majority of servers in Elemental DC is Japanese right uh, they click on J they click on E simply because the queue was going to be much faster if they did so. And so what ended up happening was Japanese players who wanted to play with only Japanese players ended up you know, grouping up with English players. And at the start of a dungeon, you know, they go like Yoroshiku, Negai Shimas, nice to meet you and stuff. And English players they keep silent, they don't, they don't know what's going on. It's just not in their culture to greet in the start of a dungeon. I'm sure there are a lot of other problems out there that I haven't mentioned, but all of these together you know, made a very you know, frustrating gaming experience for Japanese players. Meanwhile, players who could not get into Toneberry server, well, because it's always congested, they spilled over into Kujata. And Kujata's population changed over the years. You now the percentage of English players rose from 33.6% to 45.7%. And the Japanese population dropped from 62.4% to 50%. It 
it has come to a point where the elemental data center is well known among the Japanese community for becoming a huge mess. Now that the new Oceanic servers are announced, how do they feel? Just a word of warning, the comments that you find online are very harsh. They are straight up in your face. So if you're ready, let's go. Farewell, Tonberry. No complaints if they move the entire data center over. Get lost, Tonberry punks. Does that mean Tonberry foreigners are finally going to disappear? Might as well forcibly transfer them over. Shame about their houses though. Oceanic DCs here! Southeast Asia, please go that way. You mean I don't have to put Do you understand Japanese in Party Finder anymore? Foreigners are going to stay because they've got homes here. Then just transfer the entire Tonberry server over. Is the English language gonna disappear from Elemental? Lol. Goodbye forever, Tonberry. It's gonna be lonely without them around. If you talk to them, you'll realize they're actually good people. Leave the players who can't speak English here. Go over Australians, Kiwis, and Singaporeans. If only they could move the entire Toneberry server over to the Oceanic DC. I don't mind playing with foreigners. It's the players who pretend that they know Japanese but can't even communicate that I hate. Players who have houses or are in FCs are not gonna move, so nothing's gonna change. Now I myself am shocked by all of this. Uh, it, it just seems super super negative. But just remember that the internet can be a really toxic place. I thought I should get some answers from a Japanese player who decided to remain in Tonberry. Someone who had been there right from the start. Someone who understands the situation more than anyone else. His name is Katate-san, a friend I made years ago while I was still in Tonberry. So I asked him some questions and with his permission, I'll be sharing his thoughts with you. The Japanese population in Tonberry has dropped from 56% to the current 25%. Did your friends transfer to other servers? And he said, some of them transferred and some stopped playing the game. Now I kind of understand why people would want to transfer, but what made you decide to stay? I didn't have any reason to go. A lot of my FC members are taking a break from the game, but they are still staying. I also like the atmosphere in Toneberry. When world visits were available, I went to other servers to check them out. There was no English in chat at all, and it felt so weird. The Japanese players who left before the world visit system was introduced fall into three categories. Players who had bad experiences with foreigners, hardcore raiders who wanted to tackle difficult content, and players who hate foreigners. And a final question, what do you think will happen to Toneberry when the Oceanic DC arrives? I don't think anything's going to change. Japanese players who remained in Toneberry stayed because they liked the atmosphere. Well, at least the friends around me feel that way. Someone asked in Toneberry chat if anyone was transferring to the Oceanic DC and another said that there's no way they could clear raid content with just OCE players. If you ask me, I think there are plenty of talented players among the EN community. So what are my thoughts on this? All this anger, resentment, hatred, it's not the fault of the English players. The Japanese players are not to blame either. This is what happens when you put two different players from different backgrounds, different cultures into the same server or the same data center in this case. This is what happens when you don't give Oceanic players a home. The blame lies solely on Yoshida's shoulder. Oceanic players have always been shafted in MMORPGs or any other sort of games. It took WoW 10 years to get their own Oceanic servers. Luckily for us, it'll only take 8 years. When Endwalker comes around, it marks the start of an era. Now the only question is, will players actually move 
or stay. Only time will tell. So thank you for watching guys. If you learned anything from this video, please leave a comment and a like below. And until next time guys, take care.